No, Pikmon has not beaten him with his Ike. And, okay. Sosa also, additionally, just Beat. real quick, he has a secret weapon. It's not so secret anymore. I don't know what you're talking and about. Shipwrecked. Sosa went pit. Oh, right. And his pit right. put yes. in work. Yep. It, wasn't, it wasn't a desperate character switch. And no, he you're stuck right. to the pit, and it, I, it can work. Mm -hmm. No, you're totally right. So um, I think that's something that Pikmon will have to kind of, yeah. if it happens, he'll have to kind of let it wash over him, yeah. let it happen. It is so funny to me that Pikmon will still get comments about Game & Watch. Pikmon has literally not played Game & Watch in like two and a half years. Yeah. And it's still is constantly being like, well, you're just going to go for it. He's like, no, I, I am an Ike <laughs> player now. What are you, this isn't a fun, silly counter pick. I, this is just me. What do you, what do you want from me? Yeah. <laughs> He gets a lot of crap for it, because he was also the one that played into it the most oh, yeah. for fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, well, one of my favorite, actually speaking of sets between those two, my favorite Peter set, Pikmon set, mm -hmm. this set was so sad, I believe Fair and Balanced, uh, back in like 2017, 2018, sure. where he plays Sosa, and he ends up losing, but he hits Sosa with like two nines per game. Oh yeah, um, it's an absolutely um, Saber made a video about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, shout outs to Saber's like top sets of Three point the the history of three point six series. Absolutely. Yep. Sabers tournament, mm. not tournament. Sabers uh, YouTube videos are rad. They're so good, and we finally got him a better microphone. Hell yeah! <laughs> Was very happy about that one. <laughs> yeah, like the, the the pre microphone videos, also very good. But yeah. Now they're even better. They sound even better. Yeah. All right, looks like we're going Ike Wario. Mm. This is a, probably a weird stage to ban to. Also, is it for sure the Wario, not the pit? He, he picked Wario. Okay. So unless I was just doing some grimy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just made you assume I was playing Wario. <laughs> All right, I need to go back to the character select screen now. Yeah, this is not stage first. <laughs> we, we, that ship is, for PM at least, that ship has sailed long ago, and now we are sailing to PS2. Beautiful, beautiful build, courtesy of Finger Stripes. Hey, dude, it's so good. There's so much of this build that's good. It has the old... For those of us that were there were around in the old days, which feels weird to say for you know 3.6, um, but yeah, like 2017. Yeah, but four years ago, Sam. Right, that's what I'm saying. It feels weird to say that that's old now. I didn't do the math until I began speaking. So yeah. for those of you around for a I'm while, I'm 28 now, dude. <laughs> like, what's happened? <laughs> <laughs> I was 24 when I flew you out to push more buttons. I was 23 when you flew me out to push more buttons. <laughs> All right, we're going right <laughs> off the bat. Anyways, I was about to say, uh, back when like even bigger bounce was happening, we had that old punk rock, like a uh, little bit of the hip hop, a little bit of the punk rock style coming up from the balcony team, and it's really cool to see that imbued into this build that Finger Stripes made. Oh yeah, it's and even like just the technical ability is phenomenal to get this done in so short notice. He's so good. He's so good at what he does. I've been meaning to commission a, a build myself from him. So. Uh, this Ike is putting Ooh, in is a lot of work. Not going to kill, but might. Burn waft. Still yeah, not there enough. we go. Yeah. Same. That's a big decision. That was 45 seconds that he will now delay his next walk. Right. It's all good. Cool. Pigman just fell off the ledge. And we countered off the ledge. He was, what was he expecting? It was, it was intentional. <laughs> it was clearly it was an it was intentional counter off of the ledge. <laughs> and it worked. We just don't know what happened. <laughs> Sosa is on a different level. Yeah. What was what was he expecting? You you know the the term swinging at ghosts. Yeah. Where it's often in in alt, but like the like I'm swinging preemptively just in case the person runs in. Yeah. Uh, countering at ghosts is the next level. I'm I swinging in case the ghosts. I'm countering in case the ghosts swing at me. Yep. <laughs> the ghosts are real aggro today, guys. I just don't know. What's, I just don't know what's Ooh. up. Sneaking <laughs> in that side B. Okay. okay. Pikmon really wants to find this, and he. Ooh. Ike is a character. Wario can. gets the jab, jab grab, trying to juggle now, making it very difficult for Pikmon to get down. Okay. okay. Down throw dash attack. Mm -hmm. oh, we'll miss the edge. Oh, wait, and gets reversed for it. It's gonna die at seventy six percent. Seventy six percent. That's that's a rough start. Mm -hmm. If you're Pikmon, you got it. You gotta have confidence because you know that Ike is a big boy. That'll just oh, happen yeah. sometimes. Yes. That was mid-screen. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't the best DI. There's no lie. Fallen, right, not the best DI, but like, that's the power of Ike sometimes. Yeah. And that's the power of Ike sometimes. Ooh, he's reading a roll of some kind. Ooh. Ooh, that quick blade in order to, to ensure their recovery back on. That was a wild momentum into the turnaround up air. That was crazy, actually. Or not up air, uh, there. Yeah. 
Yeah, it just covers above him, so I think it's an up air. Yeah, it starts up. It also covers all around him, so it's really, <laughs> I could have said dare, I could have said fair, Wild bear, air. whatever. It's just an aerial. Ooh, good, good idea on the up air. So the up air will kill on bad DI at that point, where the other two won't. The other two, but you know, the fair and fair bear. And finish it off. Yeah. Even you with the time to reland. Now well, I mean, and I think I don't think it was even the time to reland. The reland let him scope out where Sosa was trying to recover. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is obviously super scary mm -hmm. because any hit, watch obviously more than kills. The quick draw from the ledge is a really interesting option. I know that a lot of people have gone for it. He's using it in this oh. like really bursty movement kind of way of like I can get a hitbox out with this all the way under the platform. Yep. Yep. It's a really good ledge dash. <laughs> if you ever had problems ledge dashing, have you considered picking up Ike? I wish you wouldn't, but you could. Oh, he missed a shield drop. Is that a confirm? No. Okay. No. Up no, throws no, 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 no. Yeah, just get down. Uh, I think yeah. There it is. Still, if you're Pikmon, I think that was a. That was 100% doable. You were going to lose the game anyway. Yeah. Or that was I, doable. At that screenshot, yeah, it was doable. But seeing the light at the end of the tunnel there is really important. Yeah. Uh huh. Because that's going to inform the set. Because any time in the set he's getting three stock, he can remember, oh, in game one, in game one, it was better than I thought. I can do this. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think despite that being so, so like pretty solidly, I mean, it one stock, but still solidly felt felt pretty in control. Yeah. Uh, th this Ike can 100% make it happen. Yep. I oh, feel yeah. That. You see in the background, oh, I guess they're going off the stage, but the Wario Land stage has a balcony stream going yeah, into the background. Yeah, it's really sick. No, they switched to a normal version. I guess it might be a color thing. That's How dare you? I'm sure it's like a, there's, some people just is have Peter a little bit of blind? difficult scene. Yes, gotcha. okay. Peter is called. Okay. Fine. Fine. We accept things yep. for accessibility reasons. <laughs> but it is still a rad Wario Land. And once mm -hmm. the build releases, you should definitely check it out for yourself. It is one of the greatest love letters to the scene in the terms of, like, how long the scene has been around that I've seen. Yeah. I think that that's from what we said about the build. So much of this is a love letter. This tournament is a love letter. Uh, while, we're, while we're having this match, I want to let everybody know. The event that is happening, the, the one that <laughs> we are definitely not connected to downstairs, uh, main stage, is in the same venue that Paragon LA 2015 was in. Yep. We are back in the same convention center as when we found out that we were no longer allowed to stream on Twitch. Oh. And now we're back on Twitch anyways, because screw Nintendo. But, you yeah. know, fuck Nintendo. Nintendo is... Yeah. We possibly realized that at least the Twitch thing is a little much. We are back at the same venue. We are back on Twitch. And Pikmon is trying to make this happen versus Sosa. We're also back with Balcony. Oh. Like, this is crazy that we're all here. Yep. We got Courtney, Alex, Adrian. Yep. Dude, it was like a someone called it a high school reunion earlier. And I was like, yeah. yeah. It's more, been a little bit more too. A little bit more of a college reunion for me because this was all like my senior year. Okay. This is. Pikmon really needs to clean up this stock or. Okay. Ooh. He needs to convince. That's not what I, how I expected him to clean up the stock. Me either. <laughs> he needs to convince Sosa that mm -hmm. this was his counter pick and not Sosa's. Because right now it feels like the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're not wrong. Like, aside from Sosa being in control, Sosa's using the stage to his advantage significantly mm -hmm. more. Yep. That's wall drop. Yeah, next yeah, up. That'll be that'll be it. Sosa. Remember how he said game one? He's like, oh, pick mom. Like definitely could definitely could have taken that game. Right. That one felt a little bit more difficult there. Not difficult, gonna lie. But nah. never underestimate Ike on Wario. And uh, the first game looked like that until he started getting that company. I'm trying to, as a side note, I'm trying to figure out what this mask is. That oh, I, it's way too small. I, I can't see it at all. Oh, it's a it's a smash mask. It's all the the player portraits from I think Ult, but neat. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Took me a little Sosa's bit. up to a. It might, is it just me or is Sosa playing a little more grounded than normal? Uh, mm -hmm. I'll pay more attention to it. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. I, I feel like this seems about normal for how, how Sosa plays, but it could be a, a matchup thing, um, especially because a lot of Ike's aerials are gonna cover so much space in front of him. That's true. That if you can force some more grounded approaches, just wall him out. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. but yeah, this is going pretty even. We have something I think that is interesting is that 
a lot of the, ooh, not quite. Pushing Wario off stage is obviously higher reward than not doing so. But <laughs> I love the way that we phrase like stage positioning things. But Sometimes he, when my opponent is off stage, I like it. <laughs> they die more with a higher frequency. Do I win the games? The thing is, you're not wrong, and you're a really good coach, so I can't argue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you. It's just very funny to hear stuff like that. Yeah, it's like the English language has decided I speak like this today. Yep. <laughs> so, but he's get, pushing him off stage frequently with that nair, that fair, but he's just not really cashing it in. No. Well, and, and that and that's the the end of that joke is yeah, stage positioning <laughs> and edge guarding is super important. But if you're not capitalizing, your opponent has a little bit more leeway. They don't need to worry about it as much. Yep. I like that. I tell keep him honest. Keep him honest. Just holds the quick draw. Hey, if he, there's a world. There's a very, very slim chance. There is a world. If, <laughs> if you hit the full charge quick draw against Sosa in a real tournament match where no one is throwing, I will like just pay you hundred dollars. You, you win immediately. You, you just win the tournament. Yep. <laughs> All right. So that last stock was looking not awful. Uh, Pikmin was able to get some stuff started. Mm -hmm. That being said, Warriors got that waft charged up. We're starting to get that brown glow. It is a brown glow. Yeah, it's gross. Oh, now we're on last stock. Last stock. Last stock. Once poop on deck. Did you say poop on deck? Yeah. Who do you think it is? It's a fart. That's not, not all farts are like that. I don't know. That one felt like it was. That one felt like it was. It was a three stock. <laughs> Wisely. It's not my fault. <laughs> You're a good friend. I, Thank you. I'm glad I'm it's getting very the good to see you in person again. To commentate <laughs> Project Dim with you. It's very good to see you as well, my friend. <laughs> so that was Sosa 3 0 over Pikmon. Next we have Parker Boring. It's a carrying his bottom winner side top eight, actually. Yeah, good point. All right. Next we have Parker Boring versus. I think that's Nyx. Or is that blue? That's blue. It's blue. Yeah, that is absolutely blue. Blue tore it up in doubles today. Absolutely destroyed it. Did somebody. Uh, Saber pointed that out to me recently. Uh, Blue has won the